today um, we're going to uh, do poodle tails. I'm going to show you how I clip around the anus and the rectum um, and how I make an inverted V on the top um, of his tail or on his back here. And then I'm going to show you how I do a poodle tail with my trusted number two pink oster uh, clip on comb, the same one I did on the top knot um, I do on the tail. Uh, it's really simple. Pretty easy. Make sure, makes it a lot easier to do. So I'm going to get right start started right now. Uh, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to take and I'm going to set my clippers. I want a V from the bottom of the rectum to the base of the tail on each side. So I'm going to take my clippers and I'm just going to, and this is a 15, I'm going to set it on each side and like literally clipper a V, right? And then I'm going to take and clean up the area over top. And I don't want to put the blade directly over top of the anus so they get, they can get, you can get, nick them that way. You have to be super careful. Trying to make sure. Yeah, I'll save up there as well. Um, I'm going to go up to the base of the tail. Is this dead hair? No, so Benjamin is brown. He's going to be two in a couple of weeks. He is starting to fade. Those are his fading. That's kind of where he's starting to pattern out first. Is like No, sort of he's too young. <laughs> I know. So anyhow, so now that I have my line clippered at the base of the tail, I'm going to pull it down, put the tail down in a natural position. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take my comb and I'm going to put my comb right at the base like this. So where the line is on my comb is where the line is on the tail that I want to start. So a lot of times I'll use my finger, I'll go like this and place it down. And then where the top part of my finger is where I start the base of the tail. Don't with poodles, you can go with the grain or, or without the grain. Yeah, you can go against the grain or with the grain. Right. So then I'm going to pull it up. So I have my line over there. I'm going to pull it up, and I'm just going to take this top part, kind of following it around like that to set my tail. You don't want to pull on the skin. No. Yeah, pretty easily sometimes. All right, so now I've got, you can see I've got this little, I've got like a spot, a bare spot on each side of the tail. And I'm just going to take the very corner of the blades on each side and I'm going to draw an upside down V. So I'm going to go from here and I'm going to take it all the way up. And you're going to follow the base of the tails. You can feel like... Right here, you can feel where the tail is and it goes up and it like goes up almost in between. Here's his hip bones here. So you'll stay just below the hip bones where the point of the V goes. The upside down V. Yep. Thank you. So now here I go. I'm gonna follow that line. It's pretty hard to see. It is very hard to see. So you gotta feel for it. All right, so now I've got going up that way, and I can clean this up here. Yep. And if I need to kind of straighten up here, I can. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that thing is uh, putting the dog's tail up. Yeah, so like when the tog, dog's tail set is up, the tail doesn't sit and it makes the tail look higher. Like it's set higher and not lower. If there's hair here, the tail looks like it's set lower. And if it's, if yeah. you clipper this out, it makes the tail look like it's set higher on the back. Yep. So that is how I clipper my, 
the base of the tail. Now I'm just kind of going in, kind of cleaning up some of my lines around the edges, nothing real major. So now I'm gonna take my clip comb and I'm just gonna change um, like the blades underneath it. Yep. I think this one works. And I'm gonna put my clip comb on like so. Okay. And again, this is the pink one, the number two, the Oster two inch clip comb. You can see how full his tail is. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, if we were getting him ready for a dog show, this would be a good length, but because we're not, and just for general Huge. principles, it's, it's bigger than my hand. Right now, it's probably about three inches long on the tail. The size of my finger. Mm-hmm. That says how small I am. So, so and to uh, kind of cheat and do the tail, make your life a little bit easier, I'm going to take my blade, my cook comb. I'm literally just going to. Okay. This way, this, this is pretty hard to mix the dog with yeah. those. Yeah, it's very hard to cut a dog with those. Yeah. So. What this is going to do is going to give your tail balance. You're going to have the same length on each side. And it's going to do all the work for you that, you know, you would normally do with your scissors. Yeah. So I like to work smarter, not harder. Kind of lazy. So if I don't have to scissor a whole tail or a whole dog, um, these clip combs are my god. -tune. And then when you're done doing that, you can comb it up. Yes, all so now I got a length set. Yeah. And I'm going to take. Um, if you look, you can see like how it wedge flares out at the end over here. I'm just going to take my tail. The tail. I'm going to hold it up. I'm going to pinch it, and then the very tip of the tail is like almost an inch below my fingers. That's pretty close. So it's close, but knowing where the tail is is all the difference. So you always feel where the tip of the tail is before you do this. Okay. Right? And I'm going to find the tip of the tail, and I'm going to stay right at the base of my fingers. So I know. And I'm going to take my curves, and I'm just going to take that snip right off. So that makes more of a puff down. Yeah. So then it kind of puffs out. So then all you have to do is just comb it a little bit. Comb it a little bit. Probably scissor it. scissor it up a little bit to get some of the longer hairs um, mm -hmm. out from around it. Yeah, I will never trust myself with those scissors. Um. No, we got to get Abby's size scissors for. Mm -hmm. I have tiny fingers. She has very tiny fingers. Yes, I am. She's a very petite 11 year old. Yes, I am. Going into sixth, sixth grade, I'm scared. So. I have no clue what this. Um, as with doing dogs, um, yeah. All right. So basically, I mean, that's about all you need to do. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. It's basically. oval in shape. Yes, it's it is. It's balanced. It's puffy. It's fluffy. Fluffy. Call him the fluff master. And that's a poodle, simple poodle tail. Yep. Now he's ready to go swimming, although he's clean and he's not going to be able to go. Wait, so. really? We can go swimming? No. Oh, darn it. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.